A revision is just a saved copy of the changes to your page and post content. WordPress automatically stores a revision every 60 seconds while your browser has a post or page open. It also stores a revision every time you click to update. In the classic editor, the list of revisions appears at the bottom under the content editor. Simply click on a revision to see a comparison between that revision and the current version. In the Gutenberg editor, the number of revisions is shown in a separate section in the right sidebar. Click this to open the revision screen. So we have three options here. We can delete revisions with PHP My Admin, limit them via FTP, and manage them with a plugin. Let's go through each option. You can access PHP My Admin if you have access to your cPanel from your web host dashboard. So my database is called WordPress, but if you can't find yours, press the databases tab at the top and find it from the list and then press it. Now let's make note of the prefix. Mine is WP, so it's whatever is said before the underscore. Now we can press on the SQL tab and we'll paste a snippet into the field. This snippet is available in the blog post linked in the video description. Before we run this, we wanna change the table prefix to match our database. Now at this point, we could press the go button and that will run the command. As you can see, this would delete 68 revisions from my website. But if you run a big website, this may be in the thousands. You could also limit the number of revisions WordPress stores before they ever build up enough to slow down your site. For this, you'll need to edit your site's wp-config.php file via an FTP client. Once you find it in your FTP client, I'm using localhost, so it's just my Windows Explorer, open this up in your preferred editor. Now I'm just gonna find where it says WordPress database table prefix, and there we go. In this section is where we will add some new lines of code. This first snippet is what will limit the number of revisions the site keeps, which is now defined to three. By default, WordPress saves a revision every 60 seconds. This snippet lets you change that interval to something like 120 seconds. And if you're crazy, you can replace these with this snippet, which will completely disable revisions on your website. And I'm going to just undo that because, yeah, that's not a great idea. You will easily lose your work. But if that's what you're looking to achieve, there you go. And before you save this and upload it back to your website, be sure to have a backup of the file before making changes. And again, the snippets we just used are available in the blog post linked in the video description. And finally, a plugin is the best method of managing revisions for most users. There are a lot of great options, but we recommend WP Optimize. To optimize your post revisions, we're gonna go to the WP Optimize database tab. And now we're going to scroll down here and check off clean all post revisions. And there you go, 68 post revisions. But again, most people will have way more than 68. Now you can decide if you want these other options selected and then run all selected optimizations. You can also schedule the cleanup to run automatically. We can schedule it to run daily or weekly, every two weeks or even monthly if we want a longer buffer period. To do this, we're gonna go to the settings tab, which can be found not here, but actually under WP Optimize database up to the top, press settings, and here we are. Now under here, we see scheduled cleanup settings. We want to enable this and select the schedule type. I mentioned all these already, it's completely up to you. And from here, we can decide if we wanna also optimize our database tables, clean all post revisions, remove auto draft posts, so on and so forth. And once you have this all set and ready to go, save your changes. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.